Hi boys and girls, welcome back. We're all done with seeds and how seeds move, but don't stop looking to see how they move and where you can find seeds. I'd love to see what you find. Today's riddle is, what has two legs but can't walk? Think about it, kind of goes along with this book. How many? It's by Christopher Danielson. It's a different kind of counting book. Kind of fun, kind of like our visual math talks we've done. This book is about numbers and counting, but it's different from other counting books. This book doesn't tell you what to count. It doesn't start with small numbers and end with big ones. Instead, you decide what to count on each page. You have many choices. The longer you look, the more possibilities you'll notice. Turn the page to see for yourself. Look at this picture. How many do you see? If you thought, how many what do I see? Then you get the idea. Maybe you'll count the shoes. There are two of those. Or maybe you'll count the pairs of shoes. There's a one. There's one box, but how many shoelaces? How many holes for the laces to go through? Those are called eyelets. How many ends on the laces? Those are called aglets the little hard part on the end of your shoelace. Maybe you'll count the yellow stitches in the middle or outside or something completely different. What other things can you count? Okay, I counted the holes inside the shoe. I talked about counting the lace, the yellow stitches. Maybe you can count the sides of the box. Do you see anything different? Hmm. Now how many do you see? This book is filled with sets of pictures. Within each set, you'll find many things to count. Some things change, some things stay the same. Some things might surprise you. Ready to start counting? So this could be two feet, could be four halves, or maybe two thirds and two two thirds. Who knows? Same box. How many? Are you counting the egg or the empty egg spaces? Counting the carton or the halves of cartons? How many here? Now I see something different. What's in between the eggs? This one's a fun one. How many? We've got eggs that are broken, eggs that are cooking, salt, pepper, egg carton. Does the amount of eggs cooking match the amount of eggs that are missing? How many? These are one of my favorite fruits, grapefruit. How many do you see? Do you see everything? How many here? Now the grapefruits are cut open. These are probably ruby reds because they're kind of pink in the middle. They're halves. How many halves do you see? How many make a hole? What are they getting ready to do? I think they've juiced all the grapefruits. Now how many? Can you see? There's some seeds that came out. There's some halves some cups. What do you see? Another one of my favorite fruits, even though many of you don't think it's a fruit, an avocado or more than one avocado. How many? Do you see two halves? Do you see two holes? Do you see one seed? Two seeds? A knife? What? Maybe five things? Four things? It's all what you see. Yummy, this looks super yummy. All good looking avocados. What do you see? Now look at the bottom. What do you think they're getting ready to make? Another thing I think you'll like. What do you see? 
Do you see the pizzas? Do you see the toppings on the pizzas? Now, how many do you see? Some have been cut with the, or sliced with a pizza slicer. Is it still the same amount? What fraction were they cut into? Now, here's something yummy looking. Looks like a little bit of everything we've looked at. Even has the shoes on the ground. What do you see? In the background. What did they add new to the picture? What do you see? What can you count? Once you've read this book a few times, you might think of new questions to wonder about. What's the largest number in this book? What's the smallest number? What number is most surprising? What's your favorite number? Can you find that many of something on one of the pages? Can you find it on every page? What numbers are missing? The world is full of interesting things. Go count them. Yummy, I think I wanna make a pie now. It looks yummy. Dear reader, this is from the author. A note from the author. Have fun counting. Look closely. Notice new things. If you think you can't compare apples and oranges, or in this case, grapefruits, remember, they're both kinds of fruits. Relationships are important. Two shoes make one pair. Twelve eggs make one dozen. Fifteen avocado halves make one big bunch of guacamole. When you count carefully and clearly state what you're counting, you're doing some great math. And that is from Christopher, the author. How many slices of pie are missing from the page before? What do you think happened to the slice of pie? Kind of fun. Now, to answer the riddle, what has two legs but can't walk? You ready? A pair of pants. <laughs> now, I want you to go out. I'm going to go out in a little bit. I'm going to take some pictures. And I want you to count. If you want to take some pictures out and send them to me. I'll see if I can count, do a number talk. Now, I also want you to look in the mail. I've sent something special to each and every one of you. They're all a little different. Kind of a unity bracelet for our class. So keep an eye out, look for it. It might've already come in the mail or it might be on its way. I miss you, I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, boys and girls, once again, I'm out in my garden. What can you count here? Let's see, I have one box, two boxes, and step over one, hopefully I won't trip, three boxes. Go back again so I can see the last box. Can you count anything here? Go find something else to count. Okay, here's my geranium pot in the front yard. What can you count here? Here are the steps leading up to my front door. What can you count? The fun thing about counting in numbers is it's everywhere. Make Do with it what you want to. Count whatever you want and enjoy. Bye boys and girls.